Hello, today I want to talk to you about a literary device you can use in literally any English paper. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly Stevens. I am a high school teacher and author, and this is English Nerd. So I want to tell you guys about diction. Diction is essentially word choice. And that's it. So since it is word choice, if the writer that you are writing a paper about uses words, then you can talk about diction. Now, you do have to say something about the word choice. Um, you can't just say that this writer uses diction because of course they do. I'm using diction right now as I'm speaking to you. But if you can think of an adjective that describes the type of word choice, then you're saying something meaningful about the work. So it's like the world's easiest literary term to include in uh, an essay, even all the way up through college level and beyond. So just to prove to you how versatile this device is to talk about literature in a meaningful way, I wanted to give you examples from both Edgar Allan Poe and The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. So starting with Edgar Allan Poe, the actual canonical um, work, at least for adults. I mean, Grouchy Ladybug is canonical, I guess, for kids. Um, so The Mask of Red Death, one of his most famous stories, begins this way. The Red Death had long devastated the country. No pestilence had ever been so fatal or so hideous. Blood was his avatar and its seal, the redness and the horror of blood. Okay, so this is very typical Edgar Allan Poe, right? Um, so you can say that there is morbid diction, that the diction is dark. You can point out that it is sinister. Um, all of those adjectives would relate to what we see here. And one easy thing to do to really show off in your paper is to show exactly where you find that quality about the diction. You could point out the word choice being um, sinister because there is pestilence, fatal, hideous, blood, um, you know, just those specific words that stand out to you and prove that you are onto something with the way that you're describing the word choice. So there we go. Next up, we have The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. If you haven't read this masterpiece of literature, it's amazing. It has these pages that just continue on. But this story begins this way. It's literally a board book, so I'm having trouble separating the pages. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want these aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. Okay, and so on and on it goes. He goes off, he offers to fight bigger and bigger things, and then flies away as time goes on. You can talk about how the diction is simple. You can say that the diction is childish. You can say that it's repetitive. Um, all of these things would be true about this book, The Grouchy Ladybug. So if you are stuck, especially if you're writing about something that you don't feel like you understand super well, this is a great starting point for you because you are saying something meaningful about the work, but it's so simple that you can do it regardless of your full level of understanding of the whole thing. So I hope you've, I've convinced you that diction is a great go-to literary device when you are talking about or writing about literature. So that's it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, get the notifications because there is great stuff every Monday um, coming your way. So that's it.